Turning to China now, where the government may cut growth in new loans by half in the next six months to deflate the bubble in its stock market. That's according to former Morgan Stanley chief uh, Asian economist Andy C.A. The Shanghai Composite Index has seen 87 percent growth this year as more than a trillion dollars has been pumped into the economy in the form of bank loans and government aid. You may remember the index plunged on Wednesday on speculation the government would curb the inflow to the market. The market had been trading at its most expensive since January 28th and it's seen a pretty decent recovery since Wednesday, as you saw from that chart. Now, is the Chinese stock market in a bubble? For more, I'm joined by specialist in the Asia markets, president and founder of Riedel Research Group, David Riedel. He comes to us from San Francisco. David, welcome to the show. Uh, let me first ask if you could clarify, because uh, when, when Americans think of government stimulus going to bank lending, they don't understand that in other countries it can go just straight into the stock market, but it's not only possible, but pretty much happened in China. Yeah, that's right. I don't think it's exactly what they had in mind. But you have to remember, in China, the stimulus package is more like the, the 1970s bailout of, of the Chrysler Corporation. It's the government standing behind some loan guarantees and trying to direct those loans into certain sectors of the economy. Now, that hasn't always worked. There's been a lot of leakage out of that physical infrastructure investing that the government's wanted to focus on into the stock market. Uh, so a number of things have conspired to provide that very strong growth in the domestic indexes. Uh, this very loose uh, uh, policy of the government, the, all this liquidity slushing around uh, the economy, uh, a sort of a gambling mentality among the retail investors, if I can say that, uh, and also the fact that they finally uh, reopened the IPO market, which you saw to great effect this week uh, with the large real estate developer, which went public uh, with, su with such success. I think you can safely say uh, gambling mentality among some of the retail investors. You can pretty safely say that for American retail investors, and we're supposedly more sophisticated. Uh, what do you think the government does to combat this? Well, unfortunately, the Chinese government tends to work with a pretty blunt instrument when they try to control their economy. Uh, I remember a couple years ago, they banned bank lending for a week. Uh, so they tend to do things in a pretty draconian way. Uh, they turn the tap on and they turn it off fairly aggressively. It was really just the rumor on Wednesday uh, that they were thinking about maybe doing something that sent, sent the indexes down uh, 5%, showing what a sort of a hair trigger they're on. I think the government there has gotten a little bit more sophisticated. I think they'll be able to dial it a little bit uh, here and there. Uh, but they will make, take moves to make sure that their capital markets don't get out of whack. Now, bear in mind, they want those capital markets to work. They want it to be a healthy environment for people to invest in domestic institutions and domestic uh, individuals. So they need to fine-tune a little, a, a little bit. They haven't been great about that in the past. But I think you're going to see some curtailing of bank lending growth. Do you think they have any idea uh, what they would consider healthy growth? Because the way you're explaining it and uh, the way it sounds is that they can pretty much decide how much they want their markets to rise. They can, and I think you'll probably continue to see double-digit loan growth in China in the mid-teens to, to low-20s uh, going forward. They really want to make sure that that money is being used correctly, though, to implement their, their plan to boost domestic expenditure and domestic consumption. And as far as uh, bank loans, I mean, they're approaching a pretty scary uh, uh, percentage of GDP. Do you think they have an idea as to how to control that? I think they're getting an idea. They're certainly not going to get to the point where they're as scary as the developed world or something like in Iceland. Uh, I think you're going to watch, you're going to see them dialing that uh, a little bit more precisely in the coming months and quarters. All right. Hey, David, thanks so much for joining us. David Riedel there uh, talking about China and possibly a great big bubble.